It was a horrific scene for the residents of Kamara area situated along Nakuru Eldoret Highway as they watched their own perish. This is after the driver of this tanker rolled as he attempted to avoid an accident. According to Nakuru County Administration Police Commandant Francis Kirade, the driver of the tanker was trying to avoid ramming head on to an incoming glory while he lost control. The victims then started siphoning fuel from the tanker. More than 100. Lakini sisi tulikuwa watu wa nyuma nyuma. Lakini wengine walikuwa wamesha chota. Ndiyo waka katangulia ponyoka. Asa sisi wa mwisho mwisho ndiyo tulipata majara majara na wengine karibu tisa wali potesa maisha. It is alleged that the explosion was caused by someone who allegedly lit a matchstick that saw the tanker explode, killing five people instantly, while the other succumbed to injuries while receiving treatment at El Damaravin Hospital. Over 10 other victims are still receiving treatment at the hospital where they are nursing serious wounds. Now we have six and uh, we have continued uh, treating them uh, since arrival, that's around 2 a.m. And uh, we will continue with them, though there is one, the one who is called uh, Patrick, who, doesn't, who, who looks to have uh, severe facial burns and might also need uh, ICU care. Seven of them were rushed to El Damaravin District Hospital, where six were admitted, while the seventh was referred to Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret. Others were taken to Molo District Hospital and Rift Valley Provincial General Hospital in Nakuru. Nakuru Governor Kinuthia Mbugwa, Kericho Senator Charles Keter and Kurose North MP Moses Cheboi visited the tragedy site and appealed to the national government to implement the recommendation of making the Nakuru Eldoret Highway a dual carriageway to curb accidents. The accident occurred a few kilometers from Sachangwan area where over 130 people lost their lives in a similar incident five years ago.